Partners, and let me take you back to the Tema port because a lot has been happening this week. Just a while ago, the Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders had a press conference where they are asking government to review the integrated customs management systems, ICOMs, at the country's port. Let's hear from the president of GIF, Edward Akron. The scope of the new normal should be treated with all seriousness because states and private operators within the chain must not benefit undeservedly from a situation which has arisen through no fault of the trader. Anything short of the above will mean the old benchmark will have to be attained by the close of the second week of June 2020, or the status quo before the change be reinstated pending any further form of readjustments. The government will have to carefully appraise this dire situation, and I repeat, dire, because it is dire, and advise itself on the choices to make going forward in this matter. We have had to contend with so many issues with this change. Cost is escalating because all time-related fees, i.e. demo rage, terminal charges, state warehouse rent charges, ground handlers charges at the airport, truck demorage at land frontiers, now, all of these have not been held in check as we contend with massive delays and as a result of the change in processes. If this be the new normal, ladies and gentlemen, then the scope of the whole delivery will have to be redefined. Because not too long ago, in 2015, when the pre-arrival assessment reporting system was deployed, it reduced the delivery time of customs classification and valuation report to a publicized 48-hour timeline as per their service level agreement.